Good morning everyone. Well, happy Saturday morning. I have a neat project that I want to do with you all today. And what I did is I uh, went to the store and I think it was a dollar store and I just picked up this canvas that had this nice lady on it. And it doesn't matter because I'm going to be painting, doing a project right over this anyway. It looked it only cost me a dollar about a dollar twenty-nine, I think, is what it said before I ripped it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take this plastic off of this canvas, so it shows you can do this even on a budget. Um, I'm going to take this corner off. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm going to do another spacecape. I did a spacecape digitally a few a couple of days ago and it, it was so well received that people liked it so well I thought well I would do another spacecape but this time instead of doing it fully digitally like I did the last one using uh, rendering engines uh, to render fractals and then blend those and I blended them to into a vortex uh, shape and then digitally painted layer upon layer and and uh, until I was finished with it. This one is actually going to be a, um, a liquid pour and I'm going to do a nebula scene. Now what I'm doing here is I've already got these little party cups. Now I also bought these little party cups at the store and you can find those easy. They're called mini party cups. They're just little plastic uh, cups and I use them to stir paint or stir things into paint and what I've done is I have uh, like a navy blue here and I have green a kind of a light lime green they call it spring green and I have black and I have silver for a metallic uh, a light color so I have a metallic silver and I've put them into these little cups that are over there. You can see them sitting over there kind of in the shadow. I added a little water to them. This is a bottle of water to thin it down just a little bit so it, the effect will take place better. And I added a secret ingredient that will make them resist uh, and, and fracture. So what I'm going to do is, I'm let me refocus back on the canvas. Make sure you put uh, under here, I just have like a big basically like a big um, tray that I also got at the store and I use that for when I do liquid pour uh, effects and I just put uh, a piece of plastic I think a salad came in this uh, because this will drip and you want to make sure that your tray underneath or whatever it is you're going to catch the paint is larger otherwise it's going to go all over your table so what I've done is I've put those colors into these little cups like this and I mix that secret ingredient along with a little bit of water to thin it down. Uh, not till it's an inky consi consistency, a little thicker than ink. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a liquid pour. And I'm just going to start pouring this by putting this along upside down. And I'm just going to let it go out on its own and see what it does. It's going to do some really neat effects because of that additive that I add. So I see the table kind of goes away from me so I'm going to start on this edge uh, to try to get uh, a scene that looks like it maybe there's some black. So I'm going to start off with black because I want that to be the space. So I'm going to start out with black and then I'll add to that. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. I don't know if this is going to turn out right hopefully. So upside down and there goes the black. And then after the black, I'm going to put the next dark color, which is the blue. And I'm going to do that right on top of it. Yep. And then after that, I'm going to put the green. So I'm going to move those over and put the green. Ooh, that one's runnier, so that's going to really blend in well. And then the silver over that. So when I lift these cups off, the paint, you make sure you have plenty of napkins, is going to go all over the place. <laughs> but the, the paint should start to blend. So I've got the black and I'm going to lift that up now. And you can just kind of shake it out. And then I'm going to lift the blue. There's the blue. And then I'm going to lift the green. And then I'm going to lift the silver. Now, hopefully this works right, and you'll see that it's already 
starting to fracture a little bit even now there's these what they call cells and the cells will begin to develop as this spreads out on this canvas so what I'm hoping to do with this is I'm hoping to make a, a space scene and and you can manipulate the paint and let some of it pour off if you think there's too much of a certain color just let it kind of pour off and and then hopefully you don't lose the shapes that you're looking for. So this is kind of a, an abstract technique. And I'm trying to maintain the black being at the top because that's where the space is going to be. As you can see, the silver is starting to... I should have put a little more water in the silver because it seems like the silver is not blending or moving as fast as the black and the green and the, and the other colors. But any, as you can see, it's it's starting to cover the canvas and eventually what will happen is you'll get these really interesting cell-like structures in the paint and this is really a cool technique for doing a spacescape and I'm hoping that this will turn out as good as the original. Now I'll show you one that I've already done and I'm gonna kinda let that I'm kinda trying to let that paint cover that canvas on the other end but as you can see, I'm getting some really interesting effects going on here. You see all those little cells and things? It's because the additive I've added uh, makes the paint resist. So you can take, you can finish this off by taking something like this, like a stirring stick or what they call a tongue depressor or a crafting stick and just kind of move the paint along and you can just kind of cover the remainder of the, of the canvas. So I'm going to probably, I'll probably put some blue in here. But the thing is, is when you mix it, sometimes it, it blends a little too much, but hopefully it separates again. But it, I am trying to maintain a little more black. So I'm going to see if I can add a little more black into this. Yeah, over here and try to get some darkness, which I've lost. But anyway, I have done one of these already and I'll manipulate this a little bit more. But you get the general idea, and I did one already, and this one turned out beautifully. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, anyway, I, I did that um, a little while back ago, and I'm going to take this and scan it into my computer and do a spacescape scene with it. So every time you do one of these, it's like you never know what you're going to get. And uh, this one is going to be the one I'm going to use to manipulate. In my computer, I'm going to add stars, and it's a nebula. And nebulas are a cool thing because it's basically a nursery. It's where stars are born. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching, my friends. Take care. You'll see the artwork soon, and you can go to my website at www.dansightsinger.com. I'll leave a link below. Thank you. Bye.